Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here, and today, just a minor topic of the reverse recovery time. Reverse recovery time. Normally, we ignore this time. Well, this time is always ignored, ignored, but the topic is also sometimes ignored. So, let's have a look at the topic. It's represented by a T R R. Now, what is this recovery time? So, this is the time taken by the diode to switch its characteristics from from what? When you change the diode potentials, all right. When you change it from the forward bias to reverse bias state. Now, what happens is when you have applied a forward bias potential, the P side is a positive potential, the N side is at the negative potential. So you have those characteristics and you have that forward current but in the reverse bias state we've seen that we have a very small amount of current al always neglected but the problem is now if you have applied a forward bias state you directly switch it directly you switch it to a reverse bias state will the current come to zero directly no it won't come directly to zero so what happens is that let me uh, show it on a scale so, so so let's say we have the forward current by this color well this is uh, this I am considering it to be a blue color because it basically was blue so so this is the 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 forward current all right so let me write that this is i forward all right this is a, a time t this is varying with respect to time t now when this time is equal to t1 at t is equal to t1 you do what you 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 switch from forward bias To reverse bias so the current value will not go directly to zero but it will have a current it will have a current in the reverse state as well some current which it will it will have for some time this time for which it stores this current is called the storage time this red STS this is storage time represented by ts this is in the reverse bias state all right now what happens after after some for, for, for some time it has stored the value of the current by storing the value of current means that the current passes all right this is not the charge to be stored so now current decreases decreases uh, to the value of is whatever is the reverse saturation current so it will decrease in such a way and it will assume that 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 is position this is your is all right so this time this time that it has taken is called the transition time represented by a tt transition time by a TT it is represented all right this was TT this was TS the red color and what you have this I forgot to mention that this is the current through the diode the sum the sum of these two is the recovery time all right this is the reverse recovery time all right so so if I write it down as the reverse recovery time so this is the sum of the storage time and the transition time so I believe you have got it all right if I draw the p injunction diode so you have that negative ions with the hole on this side in the depletion region you have negative ions positive ions here you have positive ions with electrons okay now in the forward bias state what do you have this is the depletion region right 
in the forward bias this is a plus this is a minus so what happened the plus will repel holes and the minus will repel electrons okay so there will be a continuous motion okay now if you suddenly change this to a negative and this to a positive you reverse bias it so what happens now uh, the positive that uh, this negative now attracts holes and the positive now attracts electrons so this is for the reverse bias state and the red is for the forward bias state so you have a current in the red as well you have a current in the green as well but a direct change is impossible just like you see the capacitor and the inductor phenomena that they resist a certain change so you can compare it you can link it to that that what uh, that it does not have that sudden change in its property so it it takes some time it has some current flowing through it when it is switched to the reverse bias region directly so this is the reverse current and it, it has been stored so this is the storage time and then you have the transition time in which it is now approaching to this its reverse saturation current that is i s and the reverse recovery time this is the sum of these two so let me read out some points from the book all right now this is provided on the specification sheet of the diode okay uh, with other properties in the forward bias state where it was shown earlier that the large number of electrons in this and that so we have seen this okay just let it go just let it go so the gigger is given and this trr is normally neglected but it is important for for high speed for high uh, free, uh, speed switching applications all right in high frequency applications important for high speed switching applications normally neglected okay and what do you have the range is given the range mostly available commercial diodes trr so the trr is in the range of few nanoseconds to one microseconds the range is few nanoseconds to one microsecond all right this is the normal range of diode and the diode with only a few hundred picosecond reverse recovery time is also available so that's all about this lecture now we have some topics which you should read it out by yourself you know this specification sheet so some important properties are given by the manufacturer when a manufacturer uh, you know makes a device so he has to give you something like the peak inverse voltage of a diode the breakdown voltage the barrier potential the maximum current rating the minimum current rating the reverse saturation current the, the temperatures of operation so those all values are given on the sheet that is called as the diode specification sheet all right so you will see this in your laboratory okay if you go there and you're performing experiments you ask for the date uh, for the data sheet or the specification sheet okay so this you you, uh, you see it yourself then the semiconductor diode notation so you see it yourself diode testing or curve tracer whatever it is zena diode so zena diode i am not doing uh, it over here we have a major application of the zena diode as voltage regulator then etc etc in the next chapter so i will cover this zena diode over there when we are studying the applications of the zena diodes okay and then the light emitting diode so i believe this is not included in this course uh, and I will check it out so if it is included so I will definitely make a video but I believe it's not included okay if you want to learn it if it's included in your contents of this electronics course you definitely can comment and I will make a video for you but from me I believe it's not included so that's all about today that's all about maybe this chapter as well see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care of yourself and everyone around you goodbye